women who dated older men as teenagers that now realize they were predators. What's your story? My first boyfriend was 22 years old. I was probably 13-14 something. He was very controlling. The kind that tells me I'm not allowed to say no if he asks anything. He used to ignore me for days and not reply to me. And very often made me send him nudes and I really really hated it. But I wasn't allowed to refuse or he would go find a girl who would satisfy him a true woman. And I didn't see anything wrong at the time with this but at least I didn't have sex with him even though he suggested that. Now I'm 21 and when I look back and think about it. I just feel so much shame and burden. And just ask myself why and wonder didn't he see that I was a freaking child. And I get filled with sadness. And I feel like that happening in such a young age really contributed to things I have done and hate. All I can take from this is to be careful in the future and make sure it won't happen to my own kids. I was 15 and definitely didn't understand a thing about love or danger. I found out that he was married and had a child because he literally disappeared and I was trying to find out what happened. I'll put it my experience in here while I'm at it. I was 14. He was 21 and I thought it was cool that he had a car and could buy alcohol. Luckily I didn't interact with this person for more than a few months. I was 15 with a 21 year old. He hung around youth group and made all us younger girls feel special with his attention. I was shy and quiet. Didn't stand out much, but obviously wanted the special attention that all the prettier, peppier girls got. He wasn't interested until he found out my mom works nights and I was home alone. We ended up getting into a pretty heated argument and split when, two weeks in, I still hadn't let him come over because I was terrified of what my mom would do if she knew I'd had anyone over while she was gone. Glad you stood up to him but kudos to your mom for raising you right. She ruled with what I thought, at the time, was an unfair iron fist. The older I've grown, the more appreciative I've been. Made all us younger girls feel special with his attention. Male attention is a refining superpower for girls that age. It's terrible. Yup. And seeking out the quiet, insecure ones. Pattern behavior. My mother found older boys to introduce me to when I was 15 stroke 16. She would take me to coffee shops or sneak me into bars and charm her way with men in their 20s only to introduce them to me. I would date them, and she would get chores done around the house that she needed. Painted kitchen, fixed cabinets, roof work, stuff like that. I remember my best friend's mom trying to warn me and explain to me why it was wrong of my mother to let her 15 year old date 25 year olds. But I just thought I was really cool. It wasn't until one of them found me online and reached out a few years ago, that I realized what she'd actually been doing all that time. And of course, none of these guys knew what the f they were doing so the house looked like sh anyways. That is so f ed up. Yeah, but she laughed anytime I would bring it up to her. It was like a sport to her. Dart your mother was whoring you out for cheap labor? Jesus. Do you have a relationship with her today? She still doesn't see it this way. It'll always resent that. Your situation was so effed up. But I need to comment cause that last line made me laugh so much. It's my bitterness seeping through haha. <laughs> I was 11 and he was 23. We didn't date. He had a girlfriend. But he would sext me and send me nudes. Eventually I realized it was strange and blocked him didn't tell anyone about it. I sometimes wonder if it's impacted me more than I would care to admit. I had a similar thing. He was 19 and I was 11. And he would always ask me for nudes but I never sent them cause I knew it was wrong deep down. I finally got the courage to tell my friends a little while ago. Also happy cake day. 11. I had boobs at 11 and got it on by a disgustingly high number of grown men. I was 13 with a 22 year old boyfriend. He made me feel special. Grown up. My friends were all jealous. TBH he was hot. A predator but a solid 10 stroke 10. We met on Xbox Live. Those were the days. And started a relationship. I was in my ugly duckling phase so was drawn into it by the attention. No boys my own age seemed interested in me. I was bullied a bit and it was nice for a good looking. Older boy to think I was pretty. He slowly pressured me into sex. Started with pushing me into sexual acts on webcam. To oral, then full six, 
He always insisted on filming everything because he loved me so much he wanted to only use our videos as porn. What I wasn't aware of was the fact he was showing all his friends and they made bets on how quickly he could get me to do something else. Whenever I pushed back he always said, if I wanted to date a man I needed to act like a woman otherwise he would find a girl more willing to have a proper relationship with him. He then tried to pressure me into sleeping with his friends. Started with a threesome, him included. Then one night he asked me to just sleep with his friend. I saw his friend give him money which is when I realized this whole thing was a lie and left. Wow. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I hope you're doing well now. He was my guidance counselor. I didn't realize how creepy he was until he proposed. The whole thing was effed. The guidance counselor at our middle school had only girls. And a few most often. In his office. Door shut. You could feel it was off. Even though I was naive and knew nothing about nothing. And this was confirmed when I asked one why she was in there alone a lot and she looked absolutely panicked. As an adult. I heard he had been at the high school and they moved him because of some improprieties. Keep it creepy. 1980s. Um. What guidance could this man possibly have given to anyone? F I'm weirdo. You must not be familiar with guidance counselors. Even the non-pedo ones couldn't guide anyone out of a paper bag. I'm from a third world country where it is normal for 15-16 year old girls to date guys in their early to late 20s. Especially in the 90s when chat rooms became available thanks to the internet. At 13-14 years old with my girlfriends we would meet up with 18-19 year old boys which now I know it was not a good idea but I didn't know any better back then. Until I moved to a different country where I learned that there were strict laws in place for adults dating having sex with teenagers. I was too stupid to understand why my mom was so upset when at 14 I had a date and got picked up in a car by a 24 year old who bought me ice cream at MC Donald's but luckily he was very nice and took me home after. Can't say I wasn't pressured into doing sexual stuff at very young age by much older men but unfortunately that was the norm. My first boyfriend I was barely 15. He was 21. Worked in a local shop and all the girls at my school liked him so came as a bit of a surprise when the biggest dork ever, me, somehow landed him and not any of the popular girls. We dated for maybe 4 months. Turned out he was sleeping with 3 girls in my year which I found confusing because I'd begged him to take my virginity to no avail. Always found that really weird and insulting that he never even wanted to sleep with me. Plot twist. My mum had stormed into the shop when we first started dating and told him. If you take my daughter's virginity, I will kill you with my bare hands. God bless my mum. Your mom knew you were dating someone that much older and was okay with it as long as he didn't have sex with you. That seems odd. My guess is that usually when moms forbid their own kids from seeing someone it tends to have the opposite effect. So her mom did what she thought would work. I was 14 and dated a 25 year old cop. He never asked my age and I never told. One day we're chatting on phone and I told him that I got some homework to do and I'll call back later. He said freshman year of college getting to Yaha. I said, college? I'm in high school. Dead silence. Then he asked how old I was and I said 14. He freaked out and was saying I'm gonna go to jail for this and I'm gonna lose my job. He said I can't see you again and please don't tell anyone. I said yeah of course. I got why he was scared and I never saw him again and never told. At least he owned up to it. He did. He was a nicer guy and didn't really need that kind of drama. We both didn't but especially him. I wanna say smart move by him but obviously not so because he never asked age in first place. I was 15 and met a 30 year old who was an older brother of a boy I met in group therapy. He used to tell me how complicated and mature I was. Lol so cliche. I'm now 24 and seeing or interacting with anyone who is 15 makes me sick. I felt so old then but it's insane now how obvious to me that people that age are children. I feel the same way. I'm in shock whenever I see a 16 year old because they're just so young. I'm 32 now. Same age as the man that took advantage of me. I met a dude on adult whims forums back when I was around 12. He was 24 and was nice to me. Things always seemed hinky to me even from the beginning. But I had no friends in real life and was definitely in an ugly duckling place. So I figured that if this is who is going to pay attention to me. So be it. He would tell me the things he wanted to do to me and eventually send me a hideously low res picture of his dick and all I remember is trying to laugh it off and said I thought he sent me a picture of a sock. 
Eventually, he started asking that if we met in person if he could tie me up and take nudes of me. He started talking about buying a plane ticket to visit me and for my address and I guess I finally had a bad enough gut feeling and didn't go through with it. My family eventually found out about us talking and it was a huge deal. I was rightfully banned from the internet for a while. Not that it mattered much, because I wound up meeting another awful dude older than me. But this one was locally grown lol. Jesus Christ this same exact thing happened to me. The way my parents found out was because he ordered me a refine Hollister hoodie and mailed it to my house. I gave him my address. He was 33 and I was 12. How long do we have to wait for chapter 2? Do you actually want to hear about the other guy? Or is this just a joke about me being long winded lol? I don't know why. I don't remember watching anything. Or being around anyone that would influence me to do this. But I used to. At the age of 12-14, send nude pictures of myself to older men. I would go on chat sites and offer up these pictures of myself. I never met up with any of the people I sent pictures to. And I still, to this day don't know why I did it. To this day I think about older men taking advantage of me and I don't know why I always go to that place. I don't think I was abused. If I was, I don't remember it. I dated had sex with a 28 year old when I was 13 and thought it was perfectly normal. He always complimented me, bought me stuff, and drove me places when I needed a ride. Looking back now I can't believe I didn't realize how effed up that was. To this day he can't find someone to date that's his age. I'm 24 now. From what I heard from rumors, there's a scumbag in our town that dates all the town's 16 year olds. My husband got beaten up by him for protecting scumbag's girlfriend from him. She was a classmate of his. Doucher bag broke my husband's rib and kicked him on the ground. Luckily he got a short jail sentence and a like 3 year restraining order. My husband felt terrible when it happened because we'd just started dating long distance and he thought it sounded like a weird catfishing story. Guy is like 35 now and still dating girls who don't know any better. F you Chris you a hole. You didn't realize it was f'd up because you were a child and your brain wasn't developed enough. Which is exactly why children can't consent to sex. Good point. He texted that he was standing outside my middle school waiting for me. I broke out in a cold sweat and I knew I had made a massive mistake. God, what did you do? I filed out behind a huge group of kids and ran home. I never saw him. So I'm not sure where he was. I was 16. A school teacher of 30 years used to touch me and text me stuff. I didn't really realize it was bad until some years later when he married a girl from my class. I didn't tell anyone because I was scared that people would think that it was my fault. That exact experience except he had sex with me two days after I reached the age of consent in my state. I eventually got him fired. Mom reported him when I was suicidal. And everyone in the school turned against me because he was the most popular teachers. It was terrible. I'm sorry that you had to go through that and I hope it doesn't affect your life too much now. Hey, the same thing happened to me. I was groomed by the most popular and influential teacher at school since I was 15. In a year he made it look like he was tutoring me for university so I could come to his place 3 times a week after school. We would watch movies and kiss after. He had sex with me literally 2 days after I graduated high school. So he was technically in the clear. Although he made me give him blowjobs prior to that. Every time that happened and had to run to the bathroom to throw up. I used to think I'm allergic to sperm. When in reality it was just response to trauma. All this time the guy was married. To. The lies. The time spent around his wife. It all effed with my head so much. I was jealous. Ashamed and depressed all the time. Then she dumped him for another guy and I ended up moving in with him. We lived together for a year and a half until I could finally break up with him after a violent fight where I had to run for my life out of our apartment building late at night in one shoe. I don't know what he would have done to me if I didn't manage to lock the door behind me to slow him down. It was like a horror movie. I was 15 when it started. 18 when I ran away. He was 34 by the time it ended. 4 years this experience lived on the fringes of my memory. I just didn't want to think about it at all. But recently more of it has been surfacing. I realized what happened wasn't my fault or lapse of judgment. I was insecure, naive and inexperienced. I never even kissed a guy before. 
I was manipulated, groomed and used by the person I trusted and looked up to. I'm so mad at my parents and teachers for looking the other way and not intervening. I recently looked the guy up he's gotten the country award as the teacher of the year and is mentoring younger professionals. I'm just disgusted and grieving my younger self. I'm sorry, it was never your fault. I hope you know that. You were a kid and he took advantage of his position of power over you. I was 17 and having a relationship with my 45 year old teacher. Whilst I was in school, my dad was dying of terminal cancer and I needed someone to lean on. The police found out, but I didn't want to disclose any details watching my dad die was enough trauma, let alone having a full on police investigation. He is no longer allowed to teach, but never was prosecuted. I tried to go for counseling. But they said they would have to inform the police of whatever I said. So I've been trying to deal with it by myself. He hit me and sent me death threats and I never reported him. So, I posted this in a thread called redditors that have called off their wedding. Why? I called off my wedding 3 months before it happened. Why? I was a 17 year old. I'd have been 18 at the time of the wedding. About to marry a 26 year old man that had been dating me for 3 years. I was a victim about to marry her abuser, the engagement ring, which I did eventually find out was fake, he has money, lots of it, but that didn't matter to me, was to buy my consent silence whatever as he stuck his dick in everything that moved, he was an alcoholic, a narcissist, a pedophile, seriously, I wasn't a 14 year old that looked like an 18 year old, I was a 14 year old that looked like a 12 year old. I loved him because I thought he was saving me from my horrid situation with my family. My mom and I moved in with her boyfriend, only to find out too late that he was an abuser. He'd take me away from it, even if it was just for a little while. I was so messed up. I ended up living in a boarding house when things finally broke in my abusive household because, of course, I was 17 and he didn't want me to move in until I turned 18. His career depended on a squeaky clean image. I ended up pregnant, having a violent end to my pregnancy that resulted in my daughter's stillbirth. Despite this all, I loved him, but he started picking at my appearance. I was gaining too much weight even though I was at a healthy weight for my age height. I had gotten hips and breasts, so we talked about dieting. I stopped eating, I drank water when I'd get hungry, everything had to be low fat no fat, low calorie no calorie, and sugar free. It worked. I went from healthy to underweight. What made me realize that I wanted out was a box of chicken wings. I ended up moving back in with my mother after she was able to escape her ex. We lived near an indoor flea market farmers market that had the most amazing food vendors. I love food, and this diet was killing me. I was effing miserable. So, I decided to have a cheat day, and I went and ordered a box of hot wings from the chicken place in the farmers market. As I sat down with my favorite movie, eating my favorite food, I realized that the extreme dieting would always be my life. I also realized that he wanting me to be so unhealthy wasn't right. I was tired all the time, cold all the time, hungry all the time. I decided, while happily munching on that box of wings, I was done. I called him, told him that I was done. It took me another 3 years to truly be done, but the very expensive wedding was done and over. He never got any deposits back. It took me almost a decade to realize that he wanted me to look like a 14 year old forever. I was also always dismissive about the age difference, citing that I was mature for my age. I now realize it didn't matter. I was a child. Not a woman but when I was under 18, I think I was 16. I joined a guild on WoW and the guild leader groomed and pressured me into sending him nudes and being naked on webcam. When his GF found out she told the entire guild that I was a home wrecker. I really thought the guy cared about me. But he joined in and said I was desperate and it was sad that I was so into him. He blocked me and ruined my reputation on that server. He was in the army and I think 28. Pretty sure those pictures got passed around and it is absolutely vile that these 30 plus grown adult men were distributing child porn of me and laughing about it. I blamed myself for the longest time but telling my story to horrified faces kinda made me realize how effed up it was. I was 16 dating my 23 year old supervisor from work at a fast food restaurant. It started like the normal story. I thought I was mature. He made me feel special. ETC and it was fine for a few months. 
He seemed sensitive. He had been engaged and had his heart broken before and it seemed genuinely pretty sweet. We would stay after work talking and I'd try to sneak over to his apartment when I could. After maybe 6 months of dating, the owners of the restaurant found out and fired him. They didn't fire him for that, but found another excuse to get rid of him pretty quickly. After that, he couldn't find another job and I felt responsible. I gave him a couple hundred dollars a few times to help him make his rent but after another few months, he had to move in with his dad. At this point, I started college. I went early, and he was living about an hour away from me. My parents didn't want me to see him when I still lived at home. So we spent a little more time together once I was at school. He still wasn't working and was pretty unhappy overall. He always talked about how much he loved me and wanted to get married. But I knew all along I didn't want to. After we'd been dating for over a year, he moved several states away to live with his brother and try to get his life together. He got him a job and everything was going pretty well. We were doing long distance, and he kept trying to convince me to transfer schools out there. After a month or two of him being gone, I finally got the courage to break up with him. He became very depressed and even suicidal. He came back to visit and I saw him twice, both times. I had to stop him from doing something harmful to himself. I always reached out to his family or friends to make sure they knew what was going on. But eventually I cut off all contact. I looked him up a few years ago he's married, has two kids, and is apparently a pastor or youth pastor. My cousin in GA got with a guy when she was around 13 and he was around 26. She had three kids with him. He slept around with anyone who was willing including his first cousin, her mom, my aunt, and her sister. He took advantage of her and effed her self esteem so much that she always takes him back. Her three kids now all have kids too. She is raising most of her grandkids. I feel sorry for all of them. Some parts of Georgia are like a third world country. As a father, the comments scare the shout of me. If you leave your wife stay involved with your kids. It was my mom's new husband that got to me around 8. Once I hit 12 I was having sex with teenagers and guys in their 20s in what I now realize was some stupid attempt at taking back control after years of abuse. This isn't even mentioning my crazy abuse of drugs during that time. And my current use of alcohol. Honestly, I just started reading the Gift of Fear book that gets mentioned around Reddit and it's a tough read. But it really does spell out how abusers groom victims. I do recommend it. I'm 18. He is 31. I was supposed to meet him tomorrow. My country has finished quarantine. I told him I didn't feel comfortable sleeping with him. Or even hooking up in any way. He pressed me on it further. And I admitted I was on my period and was uncomfortable. He told me that he didn't want to be around anybody who put up any barriers. He didn't want me to feel comfortable setting boundaries. Blocked is a real fast. 